Welcome back, guys, for more Timberborn. And what are we going to do in this episode? Well, in this episode, we're moving on to the next mega project, which is putting in the foundations of a water, fil uh, water filtration system. And it's going to be pretty big because it's going to extend to here and then it's going to extend out a ways further. How far exactly? Um, I actually do know. I was going to say I don't know, but I do know. It's um, from, from this corner or from, from there, it's going to extend out here 53 tiles. Oh yeah, so quite a long way. And there's a lot I still don't know. I have I have made progress with the water filtration system design. The thing is, it's not really the water filtration system that's the problem. It's what I do with the water after it's been filtered. The water filtration is, um, is dead easy. Now, by the way, I will say this straight up. You could do this with just a few floodgates down here, right? The, the water filtration is not the easy, it's not the problem. That's the easy bit but I'm actually trying to get rid of the automation mod. So this is why I'm gonna do it with pumps. But even that's the easy part. It's it's not the filtration system. There's, there's a million ways you could do the filtration system. It's really easy. It's it's the rest of the, the map after you've filtered the water. Where does the water go, right? What I want is, uh, I, I want a big reservoir. I want the water constantly flowing through the map all year round. Uh, and so I've got to figure out where's the reservoir going to be? How deep is it going to be? How's it going to be filled? Um, how how are the how's the water going to travel across the map? How's it going to get back to the reservoir so that it can just keep going round and round? There's a lot to figure out, but I think I'm safe now in that I can get this foundation in because um, I think every every road leads back to yeah I need this foundation so. What I do know is that it's happening way, way too slowly. So we're going to do something about that. The first thing I'm going to do is put a path along here. And I'm going to throw in some dynamite. And we're going to dynamite this down. Uh, I'm going to dynamite this down. I'm going to dynamite this down as well. In fact, shall I just, oh, I'll, just do it. I'll just do it all in one go. Uh, so dynamite this, dynamite this, so we've got a nice flat area. And then I'm going to move... Uh, extractors. I keep saying extractors. They're not fans. It's not an extractor fan. <laughs> this is not my bathroom. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, the, uh, the excavators. I'm going to move the excavators over here. I don't know how many I can get in. Probably three or four. But that'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this because it's, it's virtually useless anyway. And it will be completely useless when I change how I'm doing this. So get rid of that. Goodbye. Um dirt i need more dirt storage up here god it's um it's not easy fitting this in but but we'll see what we can do yeah hang on I, okay hang on a second um I, i've literally just had an idea which is different from what i was going to do but i could put i could put some st oh or yeah now nah, i'll do it this way we'll have some stairs there path there platform there and then, um, yeah, and then some stairs going up there, path across there. Okay, fine. And then we'll have um, we'll have some more platforms. That allows me to get another one of these large industrial piles in here. So that's that's a good start. Uh, I want I need enough dirt so that because I'm going to switch to bots. We're going to have bots up here. And the bots are going to work 24 hours a day. But our haulers are still going to be beavers. So the haulers are going to be bringing the stuff up. And then the bots are going to have to get through the night when the, when the haulers are all off lazily sleeping. Uh, we need enough dirt up here to, to like get them through. This will, this will do for now. Okay, so how are we going to get bots up here? That's a very, very good question. Well, we're going to need some recharging stations. So the next thing I'm going to do is put in some recharging stations. I'm going to dynamite that tile. We've got a four-way connector there. I can bring the power up. Yeah, so we'll we'll have a power step up there. That needs to be a priority. So does all of this. We'll set this all to high priority. And that's their case. So power will come up. Then we'll put in a four-way connector. And then we'll put in some charging stations. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking just... Four charging stations will probably be enough. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Then I want some terraformers. 
So I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go with eight to start off with and see how we, see how we get on. And have stairs there. So I want one, uh, six, like that will do. One thing that I've only just kind of realized is that the terraformers, the terraformers go backwards and forwards to the terraforming station, seemingly for virtually no reason. They just go back there and then they'll just go back to the site where they're working. Now, I don't know whether it's in between each task that they complete or I don't, I haven't fi fully figured out the reasoning, but we need to move the terraforming stations closer to where the work's happening. So hence this. Not happy about it, but it's what it is. Uh, it's not in science, it's in landscaping. Here we go. So flip it around that way, put that one in, flip it around that way, put that one in. Okay, then we want a couple of staircases so that they can actually get into them. One and flip it around. One, finish it off with a couple of paths and that will do pig. Well, we want the bots working at full efficiency, don't we? So let's put in a control tower up here. And I'm thinking for now, maybe just, maybe just pop it there. Yeah, that'll do fine. Well, they've laid in the dynamite so we can detonate that. Boom. And then we can finish off the power connection by putting in a high powered shaft. Let's see, it needs to be flipped around there. Awesome. Set that to highest priority. Uh, we've got another large industrial pile. So set that to prioritize, obtain dirt. There we go. Okay, I think everything has got built. We've got our terraforming stations up here. Right, I'm gonna change those over to bots. So cost a thousand science. So bots in there and yeah, bots in there. Now pause because I, I'm now going to have to turn off all the other terraformers and, and make sure there's no other activities going on. So, because otherwise these bots will run off and do other things, which is a bit of a nightmare. So let's turn these guys off. We don't want these guys doing anything anymore. Go away, go away, go away. Okay. Okay, let's come back over here. Dynamite. Let's blow this dynamite down here. I changed this to level two dynamite when I realized. And detonate that. Awesome. Okay. I can now put in a staircase going up there. So I'm going to have a staircase going up there. I've also got to have power uh, down here. Now, I could run the power down from here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the power from over here because we have got a power connector right there. So, how am I gonna do this? Um, hopefully, fairly easily. So we want a high powered shaft going in there and a straight shaft there. The dirt excavators. Let's see, how many of these can I get in? Um, I'm gonna try and give myself a little bit of space. Does mean that I need to fill these tiles in. So uh, it would be one, two, three. I could maybe get four in, maybe get four in. Let's get some terrain filled in around them because the last thing we want is for these filled up with bad water. That would not be good. So, and again, I've got to be careful that I don't flood this. That's the, that's the real issue. So, uh, oh. Okay, that one's going to have to go while I fill in the terrain. Uh, so, I guess something like something like that. How are things going up here? Well, now that we've got these bots, this should be going a bit for, and it, you can see it's going faster because the bots. You see, they run back to these every now and then. For like no apparent reason and then they come back and it's fine when they're there it's a big problem when they're uh, where are they <laughs> when they're over here okay well this is what i've come up with i've managed to move the excavators one further back which is good news uh, which means i actually don't need to build uh, these terrain blocks in here which makes me very happy this is what the staircase that the haulers will use to take stuff up so obviously it's a it's a much shorter distance from the excavators to where we're going to be storing the dirt. So that's really good. The The power line was pretty straightforward, just brought it across here. I haven't put this piece in, I'll put that in later. Uh, so that's going to come across down, down here. These will be buried, which is why there's dynamite in here. 
So we'll dynamite that down one. Excavators go in. Excavators start producing stuff. The haulers carry it up here. And our terraformers build. I wonder what it's going to be like after they've actually got this built. Okay, all the dynamite's in. Hooray. Let's get that blown. Boom. And the excavators go in. One, two, three, and four. And they actually fit. Hooray. <laughs> I did something right. It does happen occasionally, you know. What do I want? I want power and I want a step up. There we go. High power chaff goes in there. Well, you've only got to have a quick look at the blip blips up here. And you can see, you can see how fast this is going. They're just putting it in, like, row at a time. And it's going so quickly. So that's really awesome. Uh, they're starting to put in the first dirt excavator. So that's great. Uh, so that'll speed up getting the dirt up here. Which, um, So yeah, if we can get more dirt being shipped up here, I can actually put in more, more of the terraformers. And then we've got a chance of this happening really quickly. One thing I do need to pick up on, I had so many comments on the last video of people saying, build a bridge across here. How? And then and people say, oh, well, because you, you, you can do, do it's eight, eight tiles across here. You can do two four-span bridges. And I, yeah, okay, so you can build the one from here. What about the one on the other side? Oh, they'll build it from this side, which is true. They will build it from this side. But you've got to have something to attach it to on the other side. Oh, well, you build this side up and then you have a bridge across. I'm building the bridge so that I can build that side, for goodness sake. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you so build this up if i could build this up i wouldn't need the bloody bridge <laughs> what like and this is just I, I told you in the last video this is temporary anyway right this is going to get filled in i said i can't fill this in yet because i can't block the water flow until we've got the filtration system in good lord i was i must admit there was a, oh, I had to resist some sarcastic comments to those people. <laughs> build a bridge. <laughs> yeah, build a bridge. That's fine. Yeah, we need we need some additional power. Well, build a bridge. <laughs> it's kind of like that, you know. <laughs> so build a bridge. We need extra wood. Oh, build a bridge. <laughs> really? Okay. <fine. laughs> right. Uh, we've got uh, we've got two of the excavators built. Uh, we're just, really, we're just waiting on the power. They've, they've almost done this part. They've almost... In, in fact, we've... We, have they done... Not quite. Not quite. There's, there's like one, two, three, four, five... About six tiles to build and a couple of power connectors. And then I can take those stairs out, pop that in, put the stairs back, and we're all good to go. The thing is, they need to finish this before I can build the scaffolding... So, so that we can get onto the other side. So even though the terraformers have done a brilliant job and built this really fast, which they have, I'm now sitting around waiting for the builders to get free to build the scaffold so that they can build the next part. There's always something that stops you, isn't there? I've extended the foundation out to its, uh, to its full length. Uh, that's the full length at this height. It is going to extend further, but it'll be coming down in height. So... Um, I've run into a problem over here. There's a couple of trees and really annoying trees in the way. So we'll mark those for uh, for demolition. It's just those two. But I, I mean, I suppose while, while I'm over here, might as well get rid of the rest. Uh, yeah, let, you know what? Let's mark them all up for demolition. Because I'm, I'm sure I'll find a reason to use that space for something. Let's go back over here. So I've put your bridge in. Okay. And they've built this. Now, this is eligible to build. They can build it, but they won't build it until they've built all of this. So, yeah, um, it's about as useful as a chocolate fire guard is what it is. It's cycle 60, day 10. I thought I'd show you where we're up to. So I've now put in some of the detailing on this, uh, on this structure. And this trench here is two tiles deep and... Sorry, it's two tiles wide and six tiles deep. And you can see that we've got these um, these gaps spaced out here. And we've got gaps spaced out here as well. What on earth is that for? I'm pretty sure 
99% of you will know exactly what that's for. Uh, the other 1% will get a nice surprise. So that's cool. Over here, uh, I was getting bored waiting for this scaffold to get put in. So I decided to put all the other scaffold in because it will get built pretty much just as quickly. The, the time is, is because they can only build one at a time. But once this is built, built look how, I mean, they're keeping up, which is ridiculous. I mean, these are almost as far forward as, as this one. I don't think they've quite started on the last row. Oh, they have, you know, they've started on the last row. It's crazy, crazy, but it is what it is. Uh, it's getting the job done, that's the main thing. Right, over here, the, uh, this is when I stopped because I was like, oh, I should show you this. So what I'm doing, I'm putting in some um, some dirt storage is what I'm doing. And then I can get two industrial, large industrial piles on here. One there, flip it around, and one there. Now, I could have sped up the process of getting this built by switching these from dirt to planks and uh, logs. The reason that I didn't do that was because I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so instead, I went and made a coffee and had a little chat with Picture Perfect while, um, while they got on with doing this. So, and it worked out just as well. Right, I need them to build this, but I don't want them to build this at the expense of getting this done. So what I've got priorities wise, I've got this set to the very highest priority because what we need to do is get across here. Uh, this is then set to the next priority. There's no reason why this can't be the same priority as the rest of this, to be honest. Yeah, we'll just we'll just make them high priority. It's fine. There's no panic to get those done. I mean, they, they've got to p take the dirt from here and get it across. The problem is they can only build like two or three tiles at a time. So, yeah, I, I don't th I don't think that's going to be a massive constriction, and these will get done soon enough. Uh, the problem is, as you can see, that because of this design. <laughs> Trying to put these anywhere else becomes more problematic. I mean, I, I can get them, I guess, on this side by filling these in with platforms. But on that side, it's much more difficult. I mean, it, on that side, it's basically impossible unless I start building scaffolds six high in here, which <laughs> I don't know. I might end up doing. I mean, we'll see. I guess what would make more sense would be to maybe have some storages on this side and maybe just some one wide scaffolding going across so that they can come over here, get dirt and take it that way. Maybe, maybe. We're across, we're across, we've built, we've built it. We've got the first one done. And now the, the terraformers are racing over there and getting that built. Well, I thought you'd be interested to see just how fast they're throwing this in. It's, it's kind of crazy fast. This is just constant bloop, 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 bloop. And they're just, they're doing it so fast, they're doing it row by row. And that shows you how fast they're doing it. To keep them working fast, uh, I need to keep putting control towers out here, don't I? Yes, I do. So I'm going to need um, another control tower going in. So what's the range on this? Oh, and it great it doesn't it only shows me on on the ground there oh hang on maybe aha i can see it down there so i guess i guess i just build it there would do yeah so we'll put a control tower in there we'll have that as a major priority but um that's going to start consuming science. Our science is ticking down. We were like over 250k at one point, and we're down to 178. So I think it's about time we turn the number crunches back on. So let's do it. Where are they? Uh, we've got... I'll use the P key. Keep people happy. And there's another one there. So that's four. I think... Was that all we had? I think that was all we had. But that's like... That's like loads of science coming in. Like <laughs> crazy amounts of science coming in. I must admit, I can't wait to be able to work on the terrain and make this look nice in front on both sides. Uh, all this storage is going to have to be ripped out. Oh, I can use my cool new storages when I decide where they're going to go. I have no idea where they're going to go at the moment. So, yeah. Oh, I have got so many ideas for things that I want to do. And it's like, yeah, but I've got to do this first. 
<laughs> and I know that it's going to take a while, so it's it's like quite frustrating just waiting for them to get this done so that I can get onto some of the the other. I mean, this is cool. Don't get me wrong. This is going to be really cool. But there's some other things that I want to get onto. Oh. Patience, patience, learn patience, Sky. Patience is a virtue. Well, we're genuinely making progress now. This is going very well. So I think what I'm going to do is add some more terraformers. So let's do let's do the same thing again. We'll we'll add eight terraforming station, terraforming station. Uh, I want a couple of staircases, one there, one there, and a path, and it's done. And I suppose uh, we can set that up as priority, can't we? Yes, we can. Let's get that uh, all set up. Come on, all set up as a priority. Cycle 61, day one, and things are moving along really nicely. I've just put in another one of these, um, I'm losing my voice again. I've just put in another one of these large industrial piles. And um, yeah, it's, it's just flying along. I've put in uh, some, some scaffolding across here so that um, both, both sides can get dirt from this storage pile. Um, other than that, not a lot to say. I, oh, yeah, I put an extract down here because we didn't have extract down here. Uh, put in a control tower down here. So these should be working pretty well. Yeah, 80%, 81%, 87%. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, um, one thing that I could be doing, I could be giving the bots grease, which is made from extract and canola oil. But to be honest, like with so many other things, I'm trying to focus on one thing and I don't want to get sidetracked off onto setting up canola farming and setting up the factory to produce the grease and then setting up, setting up the distribution logistics and stuff. Uh, if I did that, then God knows when you get this video. Uh, it's hard enough for me to focus on the thing that I'm trying to do, let alone get sidetracked onto other things. So for the purposes of this, we'll, we'll hold off on the grease, and, um, but we'll do it at some point. There's going to be plenty of other me mega projects to use it on. Well, the terraformers are currently using dirt faster than we can produce it. So I've turned on one, two, three of these excavators over here to, to try and help. Uh, that's put pressure on the haulers. So I've just added uh, 20 more haulers. That one and that one. Uh, but I'm, I'm seriously thinking, should I just move these three like over there somewhere? And I'm thinking the answer to that is probably yes. And I could maybe even add, uh, add a fourth one. So maybe maybe another four here. Okay, well, this worked out well. <laughs> I, I thought, I, want, like, I wonder if I, just, if I just go like straight up. Like, will they build it fast enough for me to just like take it straight up? And I can take it straight up, <laughs> which is brilliant. That makes life very easy. And of course, they can build it from the top. So it's getting built really fast as well. Wow. This, this may be the tallest continuous staircase that I have ever built. In fact, I'm blooming sure of it. Okay, so a little bit of a path at the top, like that. And we are there. Awesome source. Um, so let's see, where would be... It's why I haven't put in another one of these, because I wanted to get this path in first. So I'm thinking there would be the best place for the next one. And then we'll put another one in front once they once they build that bit. A little bit of path in there. And then throw the storage on the top. Boom. In it goes. Awesome. And because I've used the platforms, they can still get to everything. Ha ha ha! Oh, but I tell you what, things are actually working like reasonably well in this episode, which is um, a bit of a shock. There's a guy down here sleeping in the extract. They obviously like it in there. They obviously like it in the extract. We're on cycle 61, day 21. And I can't believe how much they've got done. Look, I mean, we're already up to there, for heaven's sake. We're flying along. All the dynamite has got laid which I'm going to now blow as soon as the, the beavers get out of the... Get out of the minefield! Boom, 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 boom. So, 
excavators can go in there. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to, for once, actually get ahead of the game. Right, what do I want in here? I want, um, I'll do that. We'll, we'll talk about this in a sec. Let me just get this. So I want, flip you around. You go there. That gets the power up. And then, uh, no, nope, use a four-way. And then four-way there. Cool. So I need a two-high platform. Goes in there. And that goes on top. Okay, awesome. What I'm doing here is I figured that by the time we get round the corner and come over here, it's quite a long way for the haulers because they've got to haul it like up here and then all around here and then come round here rather than just going up there. So I thought we'd throw in a staircase just going straight up there, which is, which is what I'm doing right now. What do I want? I want, um, no, that's in the wrong place. Try again. There we go. And now I'm going I'm to have to start from that end, don't I? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Start from that end. So make sure it's lined up. <laughs> so that's where we're starting from. So how high is this going to be? One, two, three, four. Stairs just go straight up there. Uh, yeah, that's going to be that's going to come out a fair way, I would think. Cycle 62, day one. The bad tide is going away, being replaced by beautiful blue clear water. And up here, we're almost at the corner. Look at that. They'll be there in they'll be there in no time. We have three excavators working. Um, but I've run out of bots. So do I let that one get built? I suppose that well, they they've virtually built it, so I guess we'll let that one get built. Because it's like where where do I get more bots from? Uh, we needed more extract, so I've um, I've got two more centrifuges running, and really, there's nowhere else I can get bots from that I can think of. If you're thinking about these farms, nope, already nicked those, already nicked them and used them. So, I mean, I suppose, uh, is there anything down here that we could maybe temper? I mean, I suppose I could um, shut down a wood workshop. Because we've got, uh, let's see, 1.4k. I'll keep an eye on that, make sure that's not going down. Um, I mean, metal maybe? Duh, we've got 3.3k of metal blocks. And we're not really using them. So maybe I could pause a couple of those. That gives me an extra three. Uh, has that got built? Because if that's got built... No. So I'm, I, I've got two. I'd need four to run that. There's, there's got to be something else that I can steal. Let's go and have a look. There's... Oh, you know what? I can nick a couple out there out of the mine. Yeah, that would do. So let's take a... Ah, you know what? If I make this uh, a lower priority, keep it at 10. Okay, so we're short one bot at the moment. Now we're short two bots. Uh, they'll come out of the mine. That works. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, let's get back over here. Have we reached the corner? Oh, we're so close. Wow, day day eight of cycle 62. The drought has just started. And we've reached the corner. We're well round the corner on this side. This side was being a bit slow. So um, I've added some scaffolding in here to help speed it up. I did eventually put some scaffolding in there. I think that was what slowed it down because I didn't put that in straight away. So they could they could do this side faster than they could do this side, because these these guys were having to go back to here to get dirt, and now they've only got to go back to there. So hopefully, with uh, with well yeah I mean, look, yeah they're they're focusing on this because I've prioritised it, which certainly helps. But they're still working on the other stuff as well. It's flying along. Uh, we're we've making making some progress on this. This should be built well before they uh, before they get here. So that's great. So yeah, I um, I think that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. Because if I don't, then I won't get this video out today. <laughs> uh, and I can go back to um, doing a bit of uh, R and D. And who knows? Maybe I'll take a little bit of a well. I was going to say I'll take a little bit of a break, but this video is not going to be out till pretty late anyway. So. I don't know if I will get a break today. Oh, I'll, I'll take a couple of hours. Maybe I'll watch a film with Picture Perfect. You never know. The nice thing is that this is going to happen now with uh, minimal supervision. 
So I can I can kind of just like check in in it once in a while. Uh, so yeah, uh, next episode we'll be putting in the pumps, and you'll see the filtration system in action. And who knows? Maybe I'll talk about um, like the next stages that we're going to go through. Whew! Lot, lot coming up in the next episode. I've got a feeling you'll be back for that, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Picked perfect. Say goodbye. Bye. We'll catch you for the next one. Peace out. Bye.